Using this square piece of paper that we've made, I'm going to show you how to make a box. So we're going to use this crease that we have already made. Then we have it folded this way. We'll open it up and we're going to make another crease going along the other direction. So you'll your piece of paper will have an X going through it when you open it up. See if there's an X. Now take one corner and fold it to the very center where X marks the spot. Turn your paper and fold the next corner up to where X marks the spot. And do that with all four corners. So you're going to keep turning, fold the corners so it, the tip goes where X marks the spot. And on the last one. So I have all four corners, and I've opened it back up. Now with it open, you're going to take one of the corners and fold it up to this line that you just created. So you have it open, you have an X, but then you also have this square of folds that you've created. And inside you see that there's four squares, and then these triangles on the side. So what we're going to do is fold each side so that it meets this line right here. See? And then you can open it up, rotate your paper, and fold this corner so that it meets that line. and keep going around to all four corners. I bet you're starting to see lots of folds on your paper now. So now when you open up your paper, you should see lots of little squares on the inside and then these triangle pieces. Now, take the corner and fold it to the very first horizontal line that you see, like this. And go around and do that for all four corners. Making nice, neat creases. So now you have a bunch of little squares and just little tiny triangles on the corners. Now, you're going to fold these back into the center where X marks the spot using the folds that you already have made. So now it looks like this. You have these triangles coming in on every side. Now, this part gets a little tricky, so pay attention. Open up two of the triangles that are opposite of each other. Two of the triangles are coming in and two have been opened up. Now take your scissors and take a look at all of these little squares that you've made. We're going to cut two lengths of squares. So now I'm opening up all four corners. We're going to cut here one, 
two lengths, and also on the other side, one length and two lengths. So watch me cut it first, and then you can even see easier exactly where I'm talking about. So here's one of my corners. I've cut these two sides. See how it kind of ends up looking like a little house right there? Now, on the opposite side, you're going to do the same thing. So turn it, turn it once more, and we're going to cut two lengths of the squares. Going down so that we make a little house on the other side also. So see, here's the two triangle pieces and then this is where the squares start. And I've cut down two square links on each side. And so it's going to look like this. We have the little house on these two corners and then triangles on this side. If you've messed up, don't worry. Just get another piece of paper and try again. But if you have the cuts in the right place, we'll go forward. So now you're going to fold two corners in not the corners that have the houses on them, but the other ones. Fold them into the center and then fold again going over. So these are folds that you've already made and you're just using those creases to help guide you. So I folded it, the corners in, and then once more like this. Now open that up and you'll start to see the walls of your box. You're going to form some other walls by folding this part in, and then the other side as well. And those come to meet together, so like this. And then you have your house. Your house is going to go up over the side and then bend it on top and over so that it holds those two pieces together. So now you have three sides of your box. And we'll do the very last side. So fold these little arms in this next one in so you have these two flaps and then you fold the house up and then over those two arms and those creases that you made before are helping you know where to go and now you have your box. It's an open box. If you want to make a lid, you can do the exact same thing all over again. Just make two of these, and then you can fit one inside of the other to make a lid. And you can put little treasures in here that you find. Maybe special rocks or shells that you find outside, or a special collection of leaves. But now, as long as you have paper, you can make your own little box.